Doubleday is an American publishing company founded as Doubleday and McClure Company in 1897 that by 1947 was the largest in the United States. It published the work of mostly U.S. authors under a number of imprints and distributed them through its own stores. Doubleday is merged with Knopf Publishing Group to form the Knopf Doubleday Publishing Group. History The firm was founded as Doubleday and McClure Company in 1897 by Frank Nelson Doubleday, who had formed a partnership with the magazine publisher Samuel McClure. One of their first bestsellers was The Day's Work by Rudyard Kipling. Other authors published by the company in its early years include W. Somerset Mormon Joseph Conrad, Theodore Roosevelt, Jr., later served as a vice president of the company. In 1900, the company became Doubleday, Page & Company when Walter Hines Page joined as a new partner. In 1922, the founder's son, Nelson Doubleday, joined the firm. In 1910, Doubleday, Page & Co. moved its operations, which include a train station, to Garden City. The Doubleday Company purchased much of the land on the west side of Franklin Avenue, and estate homes were built for many of its executives on 4th Street. In 1916, company co-founder and Garden City resident Walter Hines Page was named ambassador to Great Britain. In 1927, Doubleday merged with the George H. Doran Company, creating Doubleday, Doran, then the largest publishing business in the English-speaking world. In 1946, the company became Doubleday and Company. Nelson Doubleday, Sr., resigned as president, but continued as chairman of the board until his death on January 11, 1949. Douglas Black took over and was president from 1946 to 1963. By 1947, Doubleday was the largest publisher in the U.S., with annual sales of over 30 million books. Doubleday's son-in-law John Sargent was president and CEO from 1963 to 1978. Nelson Doubleday, Jr. succeeded John Sargent as president and CEO from 1978 to 1985, and James R. McLaughlin and succeeded Doubleday in both roles, Doubleday becoming chairman of the board. In 1980, the company bought the New York Mets baseball team. It defeated the Boston Red Sox to win the World Series in 1986 in a classic seven-game contest. In 1986 the firm was a fully integrated international communications company, doing trade publishing, mass market paperback publishing, book clubs, and book manufacturing, together with ventures in broadcasting and advertising. The company had offices in London and Paris and wholly owned subsidiaries in Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, with joint ventures in the UK and the Netherlands. Doubleday sold the publishing company to Bertelsmann in 1986, and teamed up with minority owner Fred Wilpin to buy the Mets in his own name. In 1988, portions of the firm became part of the Bantam Doubleday Dell Publishing Group, which in turn became a division of Random House in 1998. In late 2008 and early 2009, the Doubleday imprint was merged with Knopf Publishing Group to form the Knopf Doubleday Publishing Group. Presidents Frank Doubleday, founder, 1897-1922, Nelson Doubleday, 1922-1946, Douglas Black, 1946-1963, John Turner Sargent, Sr., 1963-1978, Nelson Doubleday, Jr., 1978-1983, James R. McLaughlin, 1983-1986, Notable editors Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis Notable authors Felipe Alfor Asterisk John Bath Ray Bradbury Dan Brown Bill Bryson John Burdett A.S. Byatt Stephen L. Carter Pat Conroy Daphne du Maurier James Elroy Raymond D. Feist Graham Gibson John Grisham Mark Haddon Noah Hawley Dolores Hitchens, Michael Jackson, Carl Jung, Michio Kaku, A.L. Kennedy, 
Stephen King, Rudyard Kipling, John Krakauer, Jonathan Lethem, Andre Agassi, Isaac Asimov, Margaret Atwood, Alistair MacLean, Peter Mayle, Henning Mankell, Herman Melville, Eruki Murakami, Vladimir Nabokov, Michael A. O'Donnell, Kirby Page, Chuck Palahniuk, Vera Pavlova, Terry Pratchett, Christopher Reich, Anne Rice, David Shields, David Allen Sibley, Alexander McCall Smith, Bill Strickland, Paul Schaffer, Una Lucy Silbert, and Tyler, Tom Vanderbilt, Emmanuel Velikovsky, Jose Antonio Villarreal, Jacqueline Wilson, P.G. Wodehouse, Alex Haley, William H. White, Hanya Yanagihara, Notable Employees, William Faulkner worked part-time at the Doubleday Bookstore in New York City in 1921. Imprints. The following are imprints that exist or have existed under Doubleday. Anchor Books. Produced quality paperbacks for bookstores, named for the anchor that forms Doubleday's Colophon, now part of the Knopf Publishing Group's vintage anchor unit. Blackest & Co. Medical and Scientific Books. Sold in 1947 to McGraw-Hill, Blue Ribbon Books, purchased in 1939 from Raynal and Hitchcock, Book League of America, Contemporary and World Classic Literature, purchased in 1936, The Crime Club, active through much of the 20th century, publishing mystery and detective novels, most notably the Fu Manchu series by Sax Roma and the Saint series by Leslie Charteris. Garden City Publishing Co., originally established as a separate firm by Nelson Doubleday, Garden City's books were primarily reprints of books first offered by Doubleday, printed from the original plates but on less expensive paper. It was named for the village on New York's Long Island in which Doubleday was long headquartered, and which still houses books ban. The direct marketer of general interest and specialty book clubs run by Doubleday Direct and Book of the Month Club Holdings. Image Books, Catholic Books, still a Doubleday unit as part of Doubleday Religious Publishing. Nan A. Tillies, Doubleday, a literary imprint established in 1990. Tillies, the imprint's publisher and editorial director, is a senior vice president of Doubleday. Perma Books, paperback division established in 1948. Remington and Hooper, high quality limited editions. Triangle Books, purchased in 1939 from Raynal and Hitchcock, sold in expensive books through chain stores. Zenith Books, aimed at African American youths. Bookstores. Doubleday bookstores were purchased by Barnes & Noble in 1990 and operated by B. Dalton.